Okay, time now for a little show and tell. This is fascinating. Yeah. Last night we were going to take you down to Chula Vista, California. Okay. Uh, to this place called uh, Gleaner, George G. Gleaner Alzheimer's Family Center. Okay. Uh, they have built in this warehouse a 11,000 foot square former warehouse. It is a city center. It's a town huh. based in the 1950s. In the oh, wow. Okay, so uh, the idea is this. It's called reminisce, rem, uh, Reminiscent Therapy. And uh, what you want to do is to get people to talk about their memories. Yes. So you place them in the spot. It might spark some memories. That so that's the whole awesome. idea behind this thing. It is unbelievable what they've done. Wow. Like, it, it is really fascinating. Why isn't it moving anymore? Uh, let's see here. Just showing me a bunch of pictures and then just stopped. I don't know why. Yeah, huh. Let's go back to home. Uh, anyway, so they do franchise these out. So we might start seeing these things uh, around. That is such a great idea. It is really interesting. I don't know why my computer stopped the uh, slideshow. Um, but uh, they say why the 1950 61 thing? They said uh, your strongest memories are constructed from the ages of t 10 to 30. And so if you back time it, uh, participants who are currently 82 in 2017 mm, okay. or 83 in 2018 uh, were born in 1935 and would have been about 18 in 1953. So they okay. think that might spark uh, some memories and, and get some that conversations so cool. going. I think this is absolutely fascinating. That's a great idea. My um, mother in law, her oh, there fiance, is. oh, there we go, pictures. Uh, he had Alzheimer's. He's, he's since passed about two years ago. Mm. But they would do similar things with music. Oh, okay. They would play music from, um, I guess, a time when he was. Uh, younger and and probably when his memories started failing and so then they would play music to kind of try to spark some mm. conversation or, or spark some memories but visual memories yeah wow it might be a, a whole game changer yeah it is absolutely fascinating I'll tweet this out so you can learn more about it wow. I have a friend of mine that uh, her partner uh, had Alzheimer's and so he for some reason they started talking about the war he was in mm -hmm. World War II okay and she would pretend to be his assistant. Okay. And so she, she would say, "Oh yes, sir. I'll get you this phone call and stuff like that." And they, and it changed their entire relationship. Wow. Because he was, he was angry and he was confused. Yeah. And then that, he went back to a place where he was safe in his mind and everything. Mm -hmm. And then they started having these conversations and basically adventures of things that happened and stuff. And I'm like, wow. you've got to write a book about this. It was wow. absolutely fascinating. So I'll tweet it out. The Gleaner.org Town Square is what they call it. Um, but it's got pool tables and, and 1950s diners yeah. and uh, post offices and all sorts of stuff. Oh, that's great. I think it's really interesting. Good stuff. All right, he just wants to be your neighbor. After the break, a look at Tom <laughs> Hanks dressed for his role, portraying the iconic Mr. Rogers. And